for a great breakfast in bed or a snack anytime. Shamrock Cinnamon Rolls. Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make these fun, simple St. Patrick's Day cinnamon rolls, but the trick is which kind of cinnamon rolls to pick. These both look the same, but they're not. Let me show you what I mean. But first, preheat your oven to 350 degrees if you're using a dark pan. Okay, so the ones that you wanna use are the ones that say flaky cinnamon rolls. They're the ones that are gonna unroll and make our shamrock leaves. The ones that do not say flaky will not unroll. And if you did get the cinnamon rolls that don't say flaky and won't unroll for this recipe, then click on the direct link at the end of this video to see how to make quick cinnamon roll pancakes. You're gonna love them. Grease or spray your pan with cooking spray. Okay, so you're gonna pop open your roll of flaky cinnamon rolls. This frosting I'm gonna tint green for the top. Break your cinnamon rolls into the eight different rolls and see how these do unwind. We're just gonna take them and shape them into one of the leaves, place them in the pan. So it's just unrolling them and forming them into a heart shape by putting the two ends together and then pinching the bottom. And when you put them in the pan, it'll become one of the leaves of a shamrock. Now, if you're doing a true shamrock, which is three leaves, we're gonna make the stem out of another piece of the cinnamon roll. If you're gonna make a four leaf clover, then we're gonna make the stem out of a piece of bacon because what's better with sweets than a piece of salty bacon? For the three leaf shamrock, I'm bringing each of the three hearts together. This one's straight up, these two are on the sides. So I'm just going to take one of the cinnamon rolls, divide it in half, and place it back in there, keeping the curve like this. And then we're gonna bake this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so for the other four cinnamon rolls, I'll make our four leaf clover. And I'm just making an even cross, north, east, west, and due south. And pop that in the oven for 10 minutes. And now I'm gonna fry our piece of bacon to use as the stem of the shamrock. And when I use a lid that's smaller than the pan, it really keeps the bacon nice and flat when it's frying. And now I'm giving the bacon just a little bit of a curve for the stem of the four leaf clover. And it's almost done. While the rolls are in the oven, I'm going to tint the icing with a little bit of green. So our shamrock is actually green. I'm using Wilton gel coloring so that it doesn't thin down the icing. And trust me, this gel does not make the icing taste any different. Okay, and here's the shamrock. And here's the four leaf clover. And now I'm going to ice them. And I put the bacon on the four leaf clover for a stem. And I'm gonna scoop the icing into a baggie and cut off the corner so I can pipe it on. And I'm gonna highlight this one leaf with just a little bit of gold dust. To make some Irish coffee, you could mix one cup of coffee with one tablespoon of brown sugar and one jigger of Irish whiskey. I'm spraying one side with some green food coloring spray. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of gold dust on top of that. Or you could also blend your coffee with some Irish cream, which is how I like it. Okay, let me taste one of these now. Mmm. <laughs> Great for breakfast or a snack. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. Click here to see instant cinnamon pancakes and click on my icon to subscribe or see my other videos. Written recipes are on my website, laurievermillion.com.